Here's our next example. What we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't uh, determine the height of the angle of elevation. It says a building that is 21 meters tall casts a shadow of 25 meters long. Find the angle of elevation to the sun to the nearest degree. So this is going to be similar to the last one we did, but also a little bit different. And the reason it's going to be different is because now we are looking for our angle. So that's definitely going to affect our problem. Let's see if we can't set it up a little bit. All right. So here's what we know. Uh, what we know is we know the height of the building is 21 meters. We know the shadow that's cast by the building is 25 meters. And we are looking for our angle of elevation from, uh, to the sun from the nearest degree. So that's what we are looking for. So that's going to be our angle right there. So again, now that we've kind of set up our problem, we go through and we figure out what we know. Well, based on our angle right here, we should know the opposite side is the building's height. We should know the adjacent side is the building's um, the shadow length. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see if we can't come up with uh, which trig function we're going to try to use. Now, the last, two, last example was tangent also, and it just happens to be that way, but this time we are going to use tangent. And the reason is, is because we know the opposite side and the adjacent. So we'll say the tangent of our angle is 21 twenty fifths. Now what we're going to try to do is we're going to solve for our angle. Well right now our angle, we are taking the tangent of our angle. And just like we always do when we're solving for something, we're going to try to do the inverse operation to get it by itself. Well it just happens that the inverse operation of our tangent is this uh, new thing called the arc tangent. And each of your trig functions, at least each of your primary trig functions, has an arc whatever the trig function is. And that's the inverse operation. So we're going to take the arc tangent of both sides. Here, this is going to cancel. That's why we did the inverse operations. So we get theta is equal to the arc tangent of 21 fifths, 20 fifths. Now, the way we actually use arc tangent is we actually can use it on our calculator. So the way you get it is second tangent. So it's tangent, and it looks like it's to the negative 1 power. I don't really like that because that's actually what the reciprocal means. So if you take like 5 to the negative 1 power, you get 1 fifth, which is the reciprocal. But for some reason, that's the way they did it. So uh, that's what we're going to type in our calculator. Now, before, uh, when we were doing these, we basically had some options. You know, even if our calculator was in the wrong mode, we could still type in like uh, 52 degrees and our calculator would re recognize that it's 52 degrees no matter what our mode was. But now this is going to be important because now we are looking for our angle. So if your calculator is in radians, it will give you your answer in radians. However, if it's in degrees, it will give you your answer in degrees. So we'll just do it one time and we'll screw it up and just uh, show you what it looks like. So we'll go second tangent of 21 25ths. And you can see, I mean, it, it kind of makes a little bit of sense. It doesn't make much sense for our angle to be decimal 699 degrees. So uh, just make sure that you're thinking about your answers when you're getting them and not just making the calculator do all the steps. So we're going to type that same thing, and now you can see our angle measure is going to be roughly 40 degrees. So that's that angle of elevation uh, for this problem right here.